Uh, praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechach Wadash, and by honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers, Shalom to you. And it said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And that rest is a patient expectation as the scripture says in proverbs 23 and 18 for surely there is a reward and your expectation should not be cut off that's what the true rest is rest is not going to be somewhere where you just lay up and everything is all comfortable it's understanding the expectation the scripture that i always quote probably every video because it's very important John 8 and 32, you should know the truth and the truth should make you free mentally and spiritually. At one point in time, the devil had our mind. Now we are free. As the scripture says in 2 Corinthians 4 and 3, the God of this world have blinded the minds. So that's why people can't get this gospel. We was blinded at one point in time until the Lord seen it fit. To send us the Holy Spirit. So it said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. and You shall find rest unto your souls. Even when you're going through a bad day. The Lord give you a way to escape. Matter of fact, let's get that scripture. What the hell? <laughs> <clears throat> It said, there have no temptation taken you, but such as common to man, but is but the most high is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. So everybody in the world going through something, but we have something to hold on to. We got something to look forward to. We got something to call on, somebody to call on, you know, um, it's people that go through the things that we go through and they don't know the Lord. Imagine that. I always think about that because um, before you come into the truth, it's not that your life was better. It's just that you ain't know no better. So you lived your life the way that you wanted to live it. So you had many devices that you can get over. You know, um, get over your problems temporarily. Like you can smoke and drink all day, bullshit around. You know, you get to do whatever you want. You know, but now the way ooh, slocky, I had a burp. <clears throat> it's this Satan. The hell it come from? I ain't drink nothing. But anyways, um, made me damn, made me lose my train of thought. Hey, but yeah. So let me go back to the scripture because I really lost my train of thought so it says take my uh, yoke upon you learn of me for I am meek and lowly in heart and you shall find rest unto your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light so matter of fact what is that um <clears throat> the Lord ain't say it was easy but it is light so it said, learn where is wisdom, where is strength, where is understanding, that you may as know also where is the length of days and life, where is the light of the eyes and peace. We all understand that that's in Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, through his sacrifice, gave us wisdom, gave us strength, gave us understanding. You know, we're looking forward to the length of days, which is everlasting life. You know, and the light is the truth. And it said the eyes and peace. You should know the true truth should make you free. Um, blessed are your eyes for they see your ears that they hear. All of this happened behind Yahweh Shai's sacrifice. That's why Yahweh Shai is so important. You know. And this is a, a part eight of Yahweh Shai. I don't know what I'm going to title this. I'm just doing this in the spirit. But um, you know I'm. I think about Yahweh Shah a lot because when you really read it and you get into it and you try to visualize like what this man went through and then you look into the world and see his own people, they are through. These, man, these Israelites, I see why the Lord's going to kill majority of them. 
but you just think about it like, wow, he died for a man like you, a man like me, people who just gone, bugged out of their mind. One day, you know, all of Israel is going to be at peace. All of Israel is going to, you know, unite in harmony and in righteousness, man. You know, all behind Yahweh Shah's sacrifice. But until then, a lot of people got to die. And just to jump off a subject, I just want to back that up real quick. Because you got a lot of unbelievers out here. And the Lord said this, that whosoever would not seek Yahweh power of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether woman, whether man or woman. So the Lord did not discriminate. So, um... But now going back to Yahweh Shai. So this is important. You know, he gave us wisdom, strength, understanding. You know, the length of days, life, the light of the eyes and peace. You know, we able to see things clearly. You know, just have the song say, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Yeah, we can see. Or we can see through the dark, uh, through the dark clouds. Um, in Isaiah 60 and 2, it said that. Uh, matter of fact, let me get that. <clears throat> It said, Arise, shine, for your light is come, and the glory of Yahweh is risen upon you. That's the ones who are able to receive this truth. They call the elect in the Bible. And they say, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. This is why wickedness is at an all time high. Gross darkness to people. This is why people like the wickedness that we are uh, seeing today, as the scripture says all through the Bible, particularly in um, Second Edris. Um, it talks about how it's going to get way worse before it get better. And the people is so dark out here. The people don't want no light. The people love to be ignorant. People love to be wicked. It feels good to them. But guess what? You reap what you sow. So it said gross darkness to people. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah shall arise upon you. And his glory shall be seen upon you. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So through his sacrifice, you know, now we able to. To see the world for what it is. And we have an expectation, man. Let me just get that scripture. Because I quote it every video. But I want to get it, man. Because this, this is one of my favorite scriptures, man. But and, and let not your heart envy sinners. Because you see people winning in the world. You see people. It seems like they ain't going through nothing. They happy. You know. Um, even though the world is uh, circling the drain right before their eyes. They still finding a way to be happy. They still smiling. They still planning, talking about, I'm going to do this next year. I'm going to get married next year or in the future. I can't wait to see my kids graduate. They really want to still be in this filthy place. You know? So you seeing sinners at peace. You know? But that's why the scripture says in John 16 and 20, that the world shall rejoice and you shall mourn and weep. But he will come to our joy. All right? He going to come to there sorrow see that's the lord listen he's fair he's fair he see he see his children the ones who really believe in him um sighing and crying for the abomination thereof all right we the one that's looking at wickedness and really hate it we're vexed but we have to go through it but that's why everlasting life is at the end of the road so it says, let not your heart envy sinners, but be you in the fear of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah all the day long. Fear direct your steps. So when you see sinners, you'd be like, who do don't want to be them? And it said, for surely there is an end and your expectation should not be cut off, man. So through Yahweh Shah's sacrifice, we have an expectation. So we resting in the Lord. So, um, <clears throat> so going to the importance of Yahweh Shah. The Lord have for the father judge of no man, but have committed all judgment unto the son. This is how important the whole, the only begotten son is. The father don't got to do anything. The father actually, he created his son and his son have did everything. All through the scriptures, it talks about how Yahweh Shai, you know, he's the first spirit created. He the firstborn of the dead. He's the um. He's matter of fact in John one and three it said that everything that was made was made through him. That's including Satan, the angels, everything you see. 
the plants, the trees, everything you see in this world, everything you see, Yahweh Shai made through um, Yahweh Shai and the Alahayim, the rest of the angels, which we was a part of that if we are a part of the elect. Imagine that. But that's a little bit too deep for most people. But that's how important Yahweh Shai is, man. So it says that all men shall honor the son, even as they honor the father. He that honoreth not the son, honoreth not the father which have sent him. So, you know, the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Matter of fact, let's get that. I ain't even had that in mind. I was about to go to John 1. But yeah. This is how important Yahweh Shai is. So it said, These words spake Yahweh Shai and lift up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify your son, that your son also may glorify you. As you has given him power over all flesh. Imagine that. Yahweh Shai is the man. That he should give eternal life to as many as you has given me. See, as an order. Yahweh, our father, got the last say. As a say in John 6 and 44, can't no man come to the son unless the father draw him. So, but Yahweh Shai, man, 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 man. Ooh, let me just continue. And it said, and this is eternal and oh, and this is life eternal, that they might know you, the only true power in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, whom you have sent. I have glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work which you give me to do. So by him finishing the work, by him going on the cross, we have access back to the father. He became our mediator. He became our lawyer. That's why if you don't confess him before men, he won't confess you to the father. But if you confess him, and that's what we do, he's going to confess us to the father. He's on our behalf. And it says, oh, now, O oh, father, glorify you, me with your own self, with the glory which I had before you, before the world was, because he was the first spirit. Before every other spirit, he was the first. And through him, he made everything. All right. Matter of fact... I'm going to get John 1 anyway. <clears throat> he said he was in the world and the world was made by him. See, the world is talking about everything you see in the earth. When you go to Hebrews 1 and um, I want to say 1 and 1 or 1 and 2, it said that he also made the worlds. All right. So you got the world of Israel, the world of the Edomites. You got sea world, you got the rap world, you got the sports world. So, yeah, that's what world mean. So it says he was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. He came unto his own and his own received him not. That's talking about the ones who actually delivered him to the Romans. The ones that said we would rather have Barabbas, which was a murderer and a thief over our Lord and Savior. And it said, but as many as received him to the, uh, to them, gave he power to become the sons of the Most High, even to them that believe on his name. See how important that name is? So if you don't believe that Yahweh Shai is the name, you're going to find out the hard way. Because I can honestly say, when I was uh, in church, believing on Jesus, Jesus ain't do nothing for me. Jesus ain't change my ways. Jesus ain't bring no fear into my heart. Jesus ain't even give me uh, the zeal to want to please the Lord because Jesus is fake. And Jesus said you could come as you are. And that's not the Lord. So Jesus don't instill fear or discipline in you. Yahweh Shai, everybody that you know, for the most part, even the ones who goes off in the name of Yahweh Shai, at least they do the work. They diligent. So it's a vibration that come with that name. And it said, but as many as receive him to them, gave he power to become the sons of the most high, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of the most high. That's what it means to be born of the Holy Spirit, which all of us is, especially if we endure to the end. We was born to do what we do right now and to receive salvation. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory the glory as of the only begotten of the father, full of grace and truth. <clears throat> now, 
to end it on this sets of scriptures to show you how important Yahweh Shai is. Everything, everything. So a counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. Proverbs 8 is going into Yahweh Shai. All right. By me, kings reign and princes decree justice. By me, prince, princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. Remember, we just read in John 5 and 22 for the father uh, committed all judgment unto the son. So this is talking about Yahweh Shai. And it says, I love them that love me and those that seek me early shall find me. Riches and honor are with me. Yeah, durable riches and righteousness. So the real riches we're about to receive, this fake ass currency that we're dealing with, paper money, which is about to go digital and which they're going to try to put inside your head or in your forehead. I say inside your head or your forehead, inside your um hands or your forehead. All right. That's the mark of the beast. So the real riches going to come in the kingdom and that's an everlasting riches. All right. Nobody can take that. Nobody can steal that like in this kingdom. So it says, my fruit is better than gold. Yeah, than fine gold and my revenue than choice silver. I lead in a way of righteousness in the midst of the path of judgment that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance and I will fill their treasure. So that's if you endure to the end. That's why you got to pray to the Lord to give you strength to endure to the end. So, you know, this is Yahweh Shah part eight. You know, just to show you the significance of our Lord and what he done for us, what he done for me and you. And that's why we got to continue to pray because it's going to get even worse. But after, you know, the bad, then come the good. That's order, you know. So, you know, we are behind enemies' lines. Don't ever think that you got it. You don't got it, man. We need Yahweh Bashim Shai. Jacob's trouble is around the corner, but the Lord said we would be saved out of it. So just in case somebody new watched this video, I'm going to read Jacob's Trouble that I just quoted. So it said, alas, for that day is great. So that is none like it. it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. That's the elect. So if you keep the faith, the Lord will save you. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Hopefully this video is edifying and Shalom.